Hey guys, some time ago I made a video about these sketchy skyhooks, how you can repel on them. Of course, I still not advise this, this is an emergency technique. If you are new to this, so skyhooks are just these small, lightweight metal hooks, which are used in aid climbing, so usually just for body weight, and they will bend around 200 or 300 or 400 kilos. They are not certified as an anchor point, so this is just, just some sketchy emergency things. Yeah, usually you can use them to hold your edge protection or even to tension an anchor to the front, so it's uh, always under tension, but you don't use these for life supporting use cases or however you call it, so repelling on them is yeah, not recommended and not safe. Yeah, this video is about redundancy. At first I want to show you what I made. So I used two skyhooks just to have a stronger setup. Have a barrel knot, I guess, a triple barrel knot and a long aramid cord. It's super long, so I can still use it as some kind of a sling. I can wrap it around stuff, just make a knot and have like a strong aramid cord sling. Yeah, so I just placed these two hooks. So this is what I also did on the roof. I just clip the sling without any knots and so on. So this shares the load on both of these hooks all the time. Now some people claimed, yeah, if you just make a knot, you have redundancy. In my opinion, this is just one point, one questionable point. So like this, if you add a knot, problem is, as soon as you shift the weight just a little bit, one hook is not under tension anymore and you need to be lucky so it's still sitting safe. In another take it was falling down a lot easier. You can see how it moves and with moving, so if you're getting closer to the edge or if you work on this for several repels, one hook yeah, can get loose because all the tension is now on this one. Of course you can use some tape and tape them to the wall so they stick better, but then even then if the load shifts just a little bit and then you fall in the system, you have all the weight on just one hook. So in my opinion, one hook is just not strong enough to be called redundant if you use two with a knot. So I prefer to use this as one questionable point. I attached my rope directly and it still shares the load. Yeah, quite okay. So now I just added my elastic prusik on the aramid cord and with this I can hold this under tension. Of course I could also do this with a knot, but here I still have some load sharing and with this elastic prusik they will not fall down. This is still not redundant. To add redundancy I just use a second set of three hooks in total, some aramid cord and some yeah, shock cord. So this is how compact one set is. Sure, with two sets I have some redundancy. Still, this is emergency stuff. It's highly depending on how strong the structures are and what you clip it to and so on. So still better don't do this. So yeah, but now let's add redundancy. If you're further away from the exit, you have some options. You can use several edges in a row. So I use this edge, see where it goes. Goes to this point. I do an alpine butterfly. Now stick this through this alpine butterfly. Attach it to the edge. Now adjust the butterfly. Now again, the second elastic prosec. I will also attach this to the aramid cord. Just do the final adjustment of the hooks. Add the prosec, tension it. Yeah, that's it. Of course, the prosec could also be added to the rope itself, but to have everything in the frame here in this limited space, I decided to add it to the aramid cord. So what you have to keep in mind is that the moving rope could possibly remove the hooks from the edges because they can slip if the rope moves. So just be aware of this, but if this mo rope moves a bit down, that's not a problem at all. Now I have a sum of six hooks. 
two sets of two are holding the weight and the other ones are just for keeping it stable. As you can see, I can unweight it and I can even shake the rope and the hooks will stay on the wall. And now if I pull here, of course, this is not self-equalizing, but it's more or less yeah, load sharing. And I would say this is some kind of safe, of course, highly depending on how strong the structure is and how good the placement is I decided to use. Now let's actually repel on this. I attach the backup back there. If the hook fails or whatever, I will be hold by the backup because this is just an emergency stuff. So it's stupid to use this without back backup. I moved one elastic prosec to the rope itself and here. So this is nice. It needs some more space, but that's a cool setup. To repel on this 7.5 millimeter aramid cord, I just do a manta hitch. Clip it to my carabiner, close the carabiner, that's it. So now I just move to the edge. I have some nice edge protection here. And then exit here. So this is how I would re add redundancy to this sketchy skyhook anchor. People, please keep in mind, this is not the best anchor. This is not the best option. It's a super sketchy one. If you have some wood, if you have some furniture, if you have a door that you could just pull out of the hinges and place on the ground, you can do a lot easier and more reliable urban anchors to repel or do some rescue stuff and so on. This is just a different thing for the cases where you maybe cannot build something else because maybe it's an industrial building where there is no furniture, you cannot pull out the doors and it has to be fast. And keep in mind, one handful of material is one point. So with two hands full of material, you can build this in like any place where there is just a crack or some steps or uh, edge where you could hook these hooks to. Yeah, the setup is still improvised, not certified, and still sketchy. On the market, there are different options, also some certified ones. Usually they are a lot bulkier, heavier, and so on. So this possibly still has got its use case. Yeah, something else, which is a hook, is the Petzl AP hook. The Petzl AP hook is made for bailing for firefighters. So it's also certified for emergency use. Of course, you could also replace these small sketchy hooks, which hold yeah, around two or 300 kilos each with this AP hook, which holds like, if I remember right, 13 kilonewtons. Of course, still highly depending on the structure. Thanks for watching. Make also sure to watch my other videos. I will link some of them here. Thanks. Bye.